Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about a new update to the smart plans that you can utilize where you can now set up a trigger. So a lot of agents have been asking about setting up triggers for smart plans. Well, this is the first step to allowing for that auto trigger, especially if a lead's coming through. So this first one's going to feature tags. So this will make everything a little bit easier if you have your database organized by the tag section. So what we'll first want to do once we're inside command is obviously come over here on the left hand side and access our smart plans like we typically have. All right, so I'm going to click on the smart plans option. All right, and then we can see all of our different plans that we currently have on here. Now, if you want to, you can then go through and create one. You can access the library on here if you don't happen to have any smart plans. All right, so this way you can go through and edit everything immediately. All right, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to utilize like the quarterly call plan on here, for instance. All right, so I'm going to click this little pencil icon on the right hand side. All right, so that way I can edit my existing smart plan. And one thing to note, you'll only be able to edit a plan as long as you do not have any contacts that are active on that plan. All right, so once I click on the edit option, you'll notice at the top of every plan, all right, there's going to be an add trigger option on here. All right, so once I click on add trigger, now I can see, all right, please select the category and trigger event that you would start this smart plan. All right, so in this case, I can actually specify for the category, it's only under contacts right now. All right, and then for the trigger event, it's currently only under contact tags. So this is basically the start of those trigger options for you. Now, all I'd have to do is then go through, and as you can see, I can add up to 10 different tags. All right, I can click the plus sign next to my tags on here to see what type of tags do I currently have that I want to add in immediately. All right, so if I want to go through, I know I happen to have one that should be SLM on here, then I can add inside that tag right away. So then anyone with this tag of SLM will automatically be added to the smart plan. All right, so if I click on choose that trigger, as you can say, this will start your smart plan when a tag is added to a contact, right? Note any contact that already has this tag will not be added to the smart plan. So it's only moving forward that it'll add it in. All right, so if you'd like to add them, use the add to smart plan feature in contacts or smart plans. All right, but now moving forward, whenever we add a contact, so maybe we have a brand new lead that comes in, we tag them as SLM, or obviously we're hosting an open house. We add someone into our, our contacts back in, whatever it may be, Whenever they have that tag, it'll automatically add them to this smart plan as well, too. So there you go. So it looks like this is actually an active smart plan, so I'm not able to save it on here, unfortunately. All right, but in this case, if you are going through, that's how simple it is for you to set up that tag trigger on here to update immediately. All right, so this is where you can add inside those automatic triggers. So it's starting with tags, and hopefully in the near future, there'll be additional items, but this will help to make your life that much simpler and automate your smart plans immediately. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.